If you're having trouble with your basic facts and math, maybe you're using addition flashcards, and maybe your friend is doing a lot better job than you at getting the answers really quick. Well, if they're busy working on their paper and they're working on problems that seem fairly easy, but they're getting them they're getting them right really fast, here's a strategy you might want to try to help yourself. And I'm going to demonstrate it today so that you can practice at home. It's called punch and count, and it's called a strategy for success. Now, I use punch and count when I want to add numbers or I want to subtract numbers. So for example, I'm going to say, there's a nice little hand, we're going to call this my fist. And I'm going to be punching the number five and then counting on three more to get my answer. Now, you might see this on a math problem that looks like this, you know, five plus three. It might be in a really complicated math problem like this. where you have the five plus three and you have to come up with the answer very quickly. Well, with punch and count, all we do is we find the larger number, the five, and then we just punch it and we count it like this. So I get my hands ready and I say five, which is what I've punched, and then I'm gonna count three more fingers. They're gonna go like this, one, two, three. So when I punch and count, it goes like this, five, six, seven, eight. So five plus three equals eight. This also works on really big numbers. Let's say I have 15 plus seven. And again, you might see 15 plus seven written like this. You might have it written like this. And you need to get the answer very quickly and you want to get it accurately. So we're gonna use punch and count. Again, we're gonna start with a bigger number, which is 15. And we're simply going to punch it and then we're going to count seven more fingers. Okay, so it goes like this. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Because 15 plus seven more fingers is 22. Now you can also do this for subtraction. And again, I will start with the bigger number. So let's say my math problem is eight minus three. I would simply say eight, and instead of counting forward, I would count backwards, but I would hold up the same number of fingers, one, two, and three, so it would go like this, eight, seven, six, five. Now, this is a skill that if you practice it over and over again, this will help you get really quick at your facts, and then you too will start getting wonderful grades on your paper, and who knows, you'll soon be able to beat your friends with flashcards.